The mean number of hours that Ramon worked over the past four weeks is 39.75. If he works 41 hours this week, what will be the mean number of hours that he will have worked over the five-week period? Now, this problem can be solved algebraically, but there is a better way to think about this, and, and uh, I think you would benefit from thinking about it this way. Uh, we're going to be looking at a five-week average. We know from the information given that the average number of hours that Ramon worked for the first four weeks or the past four weeks is 39.75. We don't know exactly how many hours he worked each week, but we'll, we want to incorporate that information into a five-week average because when he works this week, this last week, the fifth week, it'll be 41 hours, and we want to average all five of those weeks. Now, what I'm getting at here is that we don't know the individual number of hours that Ramon worked those first four weeks, but we do know the average, and we can take advantage of that. For example, just to just take a simple example. If I had the numbers 3, 4, and 5, if I added those up, I would get 12. But if I didn't know the individual numbers 3, 4, and 5, but I did know the average, and, and again, the average of 3, 4, and 5 is just 4 because uh, 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 5 is 12, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. If I didn't know the individual hours, but I just knew the average, if I wrote the average down three times, I would also get 12. So the point is, if I know the actual number of hours worked, and I'm adding them, adding them I'll get 12. If I just know the average without knowing that it wasn't really four each week, it was three, four, and five, but if I just know the average, the sum still comes out the same. I can take advantage of that over here. I don't know exactly how many hours Ramon worked each of those first four weeks, but I do know that the average was 39.75. So that's like the fours I wrote down here. If I don't know the individual number of hours worked, I can still replace them with the average written down four times, and the sum will be the same. And the reason that works is that I want to get a five-week average. So Ramon's five-week average is going to be the sum of all the five weeks hours work divided by five. So taking a page from the little lesson I learned over here on the right, I'll just write down 39.75 four times. I don't really know that he worked exactly 39.75 hours each of those weeks. But, if I, but I do know that if I write down 39.75 four times and add them up, it'll come out the same as the actual hours. And then he worked 41 hours that fifth week. And that'll give me my five-week average without turning this into an algebra problem. And that would be my suggestion. Now when you add up all the numbers on top, believe it or not, that comes out to be exactly 200. So you've got 200 divided by 5 which is 40. So the answer to the question is, how, it says if, if he works 41 hours that fifth week, what will the mean number of hours be that he will have worked over the five week period? It'll turn out to be exactly a 40 hour work week on average. So he worked on average fewer than 40 hours the first four weeks. He went a little over 40 hours the fifth week and that comes out to an exactly, to exactly a 40 hour average work week without doing any algebra. You could have turned this into an algebra problem. To get a B in math, Alexandra must average an 80 on four tests. Scores on her first three tests were 60, 80, and 90. What is the lowest score she can make to get a B in math? And the score must be an integer. Well, that's easy enough. To average you simply add up and divide by the number of scores. So we know that she had a 60, an 80, and a 90. We don't know the fourth score, so let's just call it x. To average, we divide by the number of scores, which would be 4, 
and we want her to get a B in the course, which means she would have to come out with at least an 80 average. Now it's just a, a simple solution. I would clear the fractions by multiplying both sides by 4. And that simply leaves 60 plus 80 plus 90 plus X equals 320. And when you add up 60, 80, and 90, 90 you get 230. Then subtract 230 from both sides of the equation. And you end up with X equals 90. So Alexandra needs at least a 90 on test 4 in order to get a B in the course.